Monica from Whiskey River Stud and today I'd like to take you through what I've got in my fall kit. Um, first item, very important, <laughs> a list. Every year I've got it laminated so every year I just go through and tick off everything that I need um, because basically everything on here needs to be checked um, and also I put things from my first aid kit into my fall kit um, about one month before my mares are due um, so I need to just make sure that I've moved things over um, it's really handy to have it laminated it's just it's always going to be the same and what I've I've actually got this list online um, so down below I'll leave a link so you can um, hopefully print your own add it change it alter it laminate it <laughs> um, I'm a bit addicted to laminating things um, but it's super handy to just have and that's the first thing you'll grab when you are ready to get your folding started um, I usually get this out yeah a month before my mares are due just better safe than sorry <laughs> is my motto also with this list um, most of the things you can should be able to get at your local pharmacy or chemist some of them you'll be able to get from like your supermarket uh, your pet supply store your feed store um, or your veterinarian um, I would highly recommend chatting to your vet um, to see what they would recommend um, and definitely a great point of contact to have before you're falling as well um, I also sell some of the items so you can check below <laughs> um, and just know that not everything on this list is a hundred percent necessary um, I'll go through what I use um, absolutely every single time and I would not fall down without these items when I go through the items I'll let you know which ones those are the others are basically peace of mind um, we all want just a mare to fall healthy fall and the mare to be healthy and everything to go perfectly smoothly um, but if you can have a few things in a box ready to go that could potentially save the life of a mare and foal why wouldn't you have them um, and that's basically your peace of mind to know that you have done everything in your power um, to help that uh, process go as smoothly as possible and hopefully you'll never have to use them but there are definitely some things on here you will definitely use it's it's just a must if you want to ensure the health of your foal and mare um, but we'll go through that soon so buckle in there's quite a few things to go through <laughs> don't get overwhelmed a lot of them are very basic um, there's a couple that are specialty things that you will need to um, source but um, if you have any questions you want to say hey why don't, you, why don't you add that put it in the comments down below feel free to add that um, if you have um, anything else that you'd like to add please go ahead it's um, all comments are welcome except negative ones <laughs> okay thanks okay let's run through the list Fall Alarm. This is the one um, I chose. It's a fall guard. Um, there's a few different brands on the market. So do your research, see which one you like, but they're a great investment. Highly recommend you getting one. This one works off putting a alarm on the head collar um, when the mare uh, goes over, lays down, it sets the alarm off. So you will get some um, False alarms because the mare will tend to lay down a lot more, you know, trying to position the foal. Um, but we have to check them anyway, so it's not that big a deal that there's um, false alarms. So again, check the batteries and check the range. So I just go to the furthest points of the um, paddock that the mare is in um, to check that everything is working and it's all in range. Just um, next, some uh, terry cloth. Just some basic things. And now bucket. Where have I got it here? I got a bucket lined, and this is for the placenta. So once you've checked the placenta, 
that it's all healthy. Um, what I do is pop it in a bucket, tie it up, put it in a freezer, and then pop it in the rubbish. Um, if predators like foxes and things aren't a problem, you could probably bury it. Um, but that's what I choose to do. Um, it's quite an easy way of doing it. Um, some liquid soap. Roll of cotton gauze. Very simple things. Um, baling twine. <laughs> we use baling twine for everything, us horse people. So why can't it be in the folding kit as well? Why not? <laughs> um, scissors. I've just got two types. The one that you can use for bandages. Just a straight pair. Uh, enemas. Now, you get these at your local pharmacy. They are for humans, um, but we do use them for foals. Um, very handy to have if you see that your foal hasn't passed its meconium in quite a while, or at all, um, and starting to get a bit of a roach back and he's straining. Um, very handy to have one of these on hand. Um, you may want to check with your vet before you give one. Um, but rather than the vet coming out, they may say, give them one of these so it's handy to have. And then if that doesn't resolve it, then the vet can come out. So it could save a vet trip. So why wouldn't you have one? Um, iodine spray. I just make up my own. But that's a must, must, must have. You spray this on the umbilical cord. Um, and it just prevents infection. This is really important. It's, it's a basic must have if you're going to have anything must must have um, small container for colostrum I personally uh, like to collect colostrum from one of my mares she produces amazing amazing quality colostrum um, and she's easy to milk she's very <laughs> a very great mare so if you can do that that's great if you don't have um, your own colostrum bank look around locally um, and try and find where you can purchase some because it's just handy to have, you know, 500 mils on hand um, to give to your mare, uh, to your foal, sorry, if uh, it's required. And um, it's cheaper than plasma, so why wouldn't you have some? Great to have. Um, what's next? Umbilical clamps, never had to use one, but handy to have. Um, Disposable tail wrap for the mare just to keep things a bit in order. Not a must have, but it's just a, I guess, a personal choice that keeps things a bit neat and tidy. Disposable gloves, also a personal choice. I've never used them, but I've got them there if someone's here watching um, and they want to get involved but they don't want to get messy, which is perfectly fine. Um, we've got some gloves that they can pop on. Um, some KY jelly, um, basically very handy if you've got a malposition foal um, just to make it that little bit easier the mare's going to be under stress as it is you don't want to add to it by you know you stick in a dry arm trying to fix things and it's just really handy and it's a cheap thing from your local supermarket um, I've got you could have a small blanket I always have a towel that I rub my foal down with I don't have one here today but I have a towel that I just rub my foal down with but then I do get very cold nights, so I do have um, a couple sizes of fold blankets. Um, not necessary, but if you do have those cold snap cold nights, uh, it's just, I would, I think it's nice to have. Um, a flashlight, this is a must have. A headlight one, check your batteries, have some spare batteries. Um, so you've got your hands free, super handy. Uh, your cell phone with your vet's phone number. Definitely have that. Um, thermometer. Um, just a soft end one. Know what your regular temps should be for your mare and your foal. So you can check those. Um, we've been over the colostrum. So yeah, I'd, I'd like to have 500 mils um, on standby. Um, and I do have on the list here this. But if, you've, if you're going to give a foal colostrum, you are going to call your vet and you're going to get them to stomach tube it. Um, this is more if you've got an orphan foal or a dummy foal and you, you're helping it drink more often than that, just once of colostrum. So this is handy um, for that, the more regular. 
Um, I've got a pen and I've got my mare breed sheet. So it's just got the mare details, all the details of the labour, and then the things that you need to tick off for um, the folder, make sure that it's done everything that it needs to do. Um, the time, you know, check the placenta, time the fall stored, nurse, pass meconium. You can note all these things down. This is also great if you've got a lot of mares. Um, so you can check back and go, okay, well, she did this, you know, three times in a row and, and it was all pretty much the same. But this, you know, if something irregular happens, you can look back and know that it's irregular. Um, because they tend to go into a bit of a routine mares and they, so it's good to know. And you can always pass this on if you sell a mare. It's super handy for the next owner. It really is. Um, your watch, just so you can time those things, so you can keep an eye on things. One of the th that reminds me, my vet always tells me to go have a cup of tea. Because <laughs> um, I'm a bit of a nervous Nelly. I don't externalise it, but internally I just, I'm really nervous about things. Um, and she just tells me, go and have a cup of tea, you know, let them... You know, nature take its course. So even though I'm on the clock going, okay, it needs to stand by this time and it needs to have done this by this time, you've got to just chill sometimes too. But have a watch with you. <laughs> Stethoscope. This was just an eBay buy. Um, very simple but handy. Um, I have here truck and trailer ready to haul. Um, I've been in the unfortunate position where I've had to haul um, a mare and newborn foal to an equine hospital. Um, you're already in a stressful, stressful position and if you have to then get your float attached to your car, it just adds to the stress. And that's when mistakes happen, you don't do it up properly and things like that. So why not, if you can, if it's, if it's all at all doable, I would have your your float ready to go it's just one of those things it's peace of mind too and fingers crossed for everyone just don't need it you just unhook it when you're done um head collar we've been over this for the mare don't use a rope one just a head collar um i've got some cheat sheets here i would go through they're for mail presentations um so i would just go through them before your mare's due to fold, just go through them if you like, but they're good to keep just handy in the kit as well. Um, the wormer for your mare. So I don't have one here, but um, I always worm my mare one month before their due date. I also give them a twin one tetanus strangle shot one month before their due date. And um, this is so the antibodies go into the colostrum of the for the foal. Um, so I always have that ready too. So this is a good thing to tick off. That's why it's good to do this list one month before they're due because that will remind you, you'll go, ah, where am I? I've got a worm on there. Uh, refractometer. Now, checking the colostrum. I find this my most used because um, I find it fascinating how much it can change and in such a short time too. Um, Basically, this is to check the milk and the quality of the colostrum. Um, the higher the quality, obviously, the sooner your um, foal is coming. Um, it's also good to know if the colostrum is not of great quality, you will know to um, first get an IgG test. But if you can see it's really poor quality, you may not even wait until the IgG test and just get um, either stomach tube quality colostrum into the foal or you may look into getting to plasma but that's why this is so important you know to check this as soon when as soon as the foal is there and then you'll know you'll know oh my gosh okay the foal needs better quality colostrum and you can do, get that ball rolling then you're not going to wait for the foal to nurse and not shh and not pick up and do well before you realise. And we all know foals can crash from one minute to the next. So the sooner you know, the more prepared you can be. So I find this a must, must have. Um, it's just one of those things. And I, I find it fascinating just to see that the, the quality change in such a short period of time. A lot of other people use these pull strips. 
um, basically it's just testing the pH of the colostrum um, and we want as yellow as possible um, that's as close that means the fall is close to coming um, we look like to call it lemons we're looking for lemons <laughs> in the following um, we've just got some sterile wash um, and then we've got leg straps for pulling the foal these um, I find them very handy just to help slightly um, I would recommend having someone show you how to use these um, because it's not a matter of just going in there and pulling like crazy and pulling it straight out and pop. Um, you need to go with the contractions of the mare. You need to go in, an, in a curve, not just straight out. Um, so it is handy. Um, how you, but it isn't something you just do if you haven't seen someone do it. So I would... if you, And I'll try and get videos if, of this maybe potentially. But um, if you haven't done it, just reach out to a couple local studs and they may let you come on a falling down night and um, they may show you how to use them. Um, lastly on the list, I've got a scalpel for red bag delivery. We won't go into what a red bag is, but a scalpel. Um, and that's everything that's on my list. So it's not a huge amount of things. The most expensive item is the falling alarm. The rest are things that you can get, like I said, from your, your pharmacy, your supermarket, your local feed store. Um, all very simple things you can get. Um, and I sell some of them, so you can check the link down below. <laughs> um, <laughs> and they just all go into the box. And that means I can just take it around to the pad that it needs to be in. Or if I move them into the stables, that just comes with me. Um, and it's all very easy. Some of these things will go will have been brought out of the the first aid kit like the thermometer and things like that rather than just having two because it's only during falling season um, and the stethoscope things like that I've just pulled them out of my first aid kit for falling season popped in here but that's everything and if you've got any questions please free feel to comment down below um, if you've got anything that you think should be in here that isn't Comment down below something handy that you, you, you know you've used and you've saved a fall or you've saved a mare. Comment down below and let us know those awesome stories um, because that's what we want. We just want a healthy mare, healthy foal, um, and that's what this is helping to produce. It's just to simple things that could save lives. So um, get out there and get your kit together and happy falling season.